Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 20 hidden tips and tricks that you will find on your iPhone that you probably never knew about but are actually very very useful and I believe every iPhone user must know them. These are very useful and you will find yourself using most of these on daily basis on your iPhone and some of them are actually very very important as well. Now another really important thing is that little like button just underneath this video. That like button actually helps out a lot. So make sure you smash that like button for the algorithm, help this video and this channel do much, much better. All right, first off, shutting down your device. Anytime you wanna shut down your device, the easiest way to do that is use this shortcut right here. Tap right there and you just like that, you're on the shut down screen of your iPhone. You don't need to press and hold two buttons. You don't need to go digging through the settings app to find the shutdown option. You can do that through this shortcut. You can even add this as a widget on the home screen of your device. And of course, shut down your device anytime you want to directly from the home screen. On the notes app, you will have a search bar. When you go to the folders, just swipe down and the search bar shows up right there. Now, if you wanna find any scans that you have made on your notes and you probably have a ton of notes or find any photos or different attachments that you have on your notes, you can do that very easily by simply tapping the search bar right there and then you will have a right here notes with checklists notes with draw drawings and of course notes with scan documents that you have scanned through the notes app and of course notes with attachments you tap one of them and you don't have to actually search for anything it will just write up show all the notes that have attachments in this case and of course let you easier find them on your device on your notes app of course you can even write anything you want with your fingers so you can basically sketch anything you want here now when you're taking a note the first words of that note will of course will show as the title of the note but when you do this which is the title so all you gotta do is just actually tap done right there and swipe down like this you can see suggested title new note you can tap the edit button and you can enter a name here maybe my drawing or something like that enter any name you want for your note when you go to one of your notes, if you just swipe down like this, you will see the date right there where the note was created. So you can see it says right there, November 16th, 2021, and the hour is 1359. Now that's the time the note has been created. But of course, it's not the, the last time this note has been edited. Now what you do here is actually just tap right there and it will switch from the created you can see created and now we can also go to edit it so you will have two different dates there on any note the date and the time it was actually first originally created and then it will also show the last time it has been edited so if you just want to know that you need to know that you can do that simply by tapping right there on the date if you need to quickly scan a document of course the best way to do that is using the notes app on ios the scanner on the notes app is pretty good and there is a really quick way to do that quickly scan any document you want simply 3d touch on the notes right there and tap on scan document and just like that you're on the scanning interface and just right off you can see it starts scanning and you're good to go you will have all the different options right there and of course you have all your scans here and you can save them or edit them directly from here and you can see it actually does a pretty pretty good job scanning any documents you need now this one right here is really really important i need for everyone to pay attention to this because it's really important and might keep you out of trouble so let's say you take a screenshot of something here I have this beautiful widget. Maybe I wanna send this widget to someone to take a look at, but right underneath here, there might be something I wanna hide, maybe an app that I don't wanna show anyone, or maybe I'm taking a screenshot of a note or stuff like that. So let's say I take a screenshot here of this widget. I go ahead and crop like this because I don't wanna show that part to anyone. So what I do now is tap done and of course, save this to photos. And now if I wanna share this from photos, Let's see what happens. So right here we have the cropped screenshot and let's say I wanna send this to someone, I can airdrop this to someone, but what happens now is that the person that will receive this screenshot is will, will actually be able to just completely see the whole screenshot, even the cropped part. So if you send a screenshot to someone 
what you gotta do is of course make sure that you always tap on options right there and make sure you have this disabled because if you have this enabled then this is what happens someone receives a screen a screenshot from you all they gotta do is just tap on the edit button and tap on revert and they will be able to actually revert it to the original and see the crop part always make sure that you do this of course make sure that you always hide the data from the photos that you share let's move on to the notifications here and we have messages so if you go to the messages notifications right here you can actually customize these notifications you can enable or disable notifications for unknown senders but right here we have also repeat alerts have you ever noticed that if you receive a note actually a notification from the messages app and you don't open it it will give you another notification after a few seconds so basically what it does is that it repeats the notification every like two minutes i believe but that of course is based on how many times you set it to repeat and you can do that from here you can choose never or you can choose up to 10 times so you will get a notification every two minutes 10 times when you receive a message a great feature of iMessage is right here text message forwarding so if you have other devices like maybe an iPhone another iPhone a Mac or an iPad you can actually enable text message forwarding so let's say you have your iPhone like away from you or maybe charging or stuff like that you're on your mac you will receive the message directly on your mac of course when you're nearby that's an amazing feature to have and you can enable it right here from the iMessage settings new feature of the iMessage app is the ability to show everything that has been shared with you through messages like maybe photos links and stuff like that you can disable that by going to shared with you so let's say you have received a few links on iMessage and whenever you open Safari there on the first page of Safari you will see those links as recommended of course they have been shared with you so Siri will basically suggest them to open right there you can disable those simply by going here and disabling this button you can go ahead and disable everything or just choose in which app you want to disable those now one really cool feature of iOS is the ability to switch from face ID to the passcode really quickly. So let's say you're on a device and it's not recognizing your face or maybe you have some, some device from some other people, maybe someone you know, you know their passcode but of course it won't unlock with face ID. You see what happens here, it will stay like this for a few seconds and then it will go to the passcode screen. Now the quick way to do this is once you swipe up just tap right there on face id and it will immediately take you to the passcode screen here's a really cool feature so let's say you take a few pictures and of course one after another you will get something like this as long as these are live pictures you can turn all of these pictures into one single video here's how it works you simply select all the pictures that you have taken like this and then of course all you gotta do is just tap the share button and you can go ahead and from here save this as a video and it will save all of them combined into one single video that's actually really really awesome so let's just go to the recent album and here we have now a video that's eight seconds all of this from those pictures that we took turn any live photo you want into a video of course even a group of live photos into a video now when you take a slow-mo video on your iphone of course you play the video you will have a part of the video that will be in slow motion and a part of the video that won't be on slow motion you can actually change that simply by tapping the edit button and right here this is the part you can see those lines those are the part where the video is in slow motion now you can make that part longer or shrink it down or move it on any part of the video that you want once you have done that you can see the result right here now of course we have a much different video because the slow-mo part is by the end towards the end of the video and of course you can edit that easily from the photos app now this right here is very annoying for a lot of people so let's say you're on a note or anywhere on ios the keyboard pops up i want to just remove the keyboard here to take a look at something you don't actually have a button that button right there won't work that's just for the tools there so how do you remove the keyboard 
from this node you have to go back and go back into that node all you gotta do on any app this will work actually on any app just swipe down like this and you can see it will actually remove the keyboard from the screen so just swipe like this from the middle of the screen towards the end of the screen and just like that you can dismiss the keyboard from the screen now when you're trying to record the screen of your iphone did you know that you can actually even record your own voice so let's say you're recording something maybe you want to explain something to someone you don't have to just show the video you can even talk and explain that in your words now the way to do that simply 3d touch right here on the recorder and you will have the button right here to turn on the microphone of course you can turn it on or off if you don't want to have like a sound on the video you can turn it off from from here as well so that option is really really useful if you didn't know that you can turn on and even speak on a screen recording if you work out a lot and you use the fitness app of ios this is a must know feature you can go to your fitness and you can go to maybe any of the different exercises you did what you gotta do is just tap that little share button you can actually save this as a picture and then of course share it anywhere you want so let's just go to the photos here so right there we have the picture we just saved you can see it will show you the exercises you did also the calories burned and of course the total time now when you're trying to find a photo on any photo album the easiest way to do that is by using filters now you can use filters on ios simply tap the three dots right there and you can see what you do right here tap on filters and choose maybe only photos that you have on that album that you have favorited or maybe even photos only videos or just photos that you have edited and you can see right there it only shows the edited photos now when you go to your photos library you will have years months days and all photos as well so if you go to days months or years do you know that you can actually completely share all the photos that are on that section with one click tap right there on the three dots tap share photos and now you can share all those photos together when you're on an album of photos and you want to move quickly up on the photos what you do is of course tap right there on the status bar it moves up right away you can do that basically on any app on ios but this is a feature that you don't actually have on any app on ios on the photos app you can also do this tap right there and it takes you right to the bottom so moving up and down very quickly is very very easy on the photos app and last but not least whenever you have a pdf saved on the files app you can actually sign it from here all you have to do is just tap on that little button right there the markup button tap the plus button and right here will have your signature of course you can add or remove signatures from here so of course if you want to add one you can just have the plus button right there and you can just add any signature you want you can clear it from here or if it's okay you can just go ahead tap right there and of course always you can change the color as well and do anything you want and you will also have the ability to of course move it around make it bigger or smaller or change its size as well directly from here so do anything you want and just place the signature any place you want to do that and you're good to go so you don't actually need to have like a third party app to sign any pdf you want just make sure you save them into the files app and you can sign them from here so that's basically it for this video guys these are 20 tips and tricks that are hidden on your iphone are very useful and i believe every iphone user must know and use them on their device thank you guys for watching the video don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you on the next one